everyone, it's Colin from DIY Guy. Thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, so I wanted to do a follow up to my artichoke transplant where I transplanted them in a previous video into these homemade cardboard containers. And now I'm gonna put them in the soil because it looks like they're, you know, they're starting to wilt a little bit. And I was wondering if it's just because they're running out of space in these small containers. So in a previous video, I showed how I made these cardboard containers, which are really just, um, just some cardboard that I cut into kind of a, a plus sign and then I folded it all up just like that and made a little planter out of it. Well, the best part about this is that come transplant time, when you go to move them into your garden, then it's super easy. You just pull off the tape that was securing it all and then it opens right up and then you can pull the thing right out and plant it into your garden. So here I'll give you a little better shot of this. So I'm just gonna pull down all four walls just like that and look at that. It just holds its shape very nicely and just like any other plant that you'd get at the store, you're gonna wanna rough up the roots just a little bit so they kinda break out of their square mold or cube mold. And then all I'm gonna do is just drop it right in here. I put a little bit of perlite in the dirt just to provide some extra drainage, uh, but you don't have to do that. This is just kind of a lower spot in my garden. So I want the base of this to be about uh, just probably an inch above the surface of the soil. And we're gonna cover it just like that. And now it should be plenty happy. So you can really see how easy that was. It went from in this to in the ground in about you know 30 seconds. And so I've got six, or let's see, five more of these, and it's gonna take me like five minutes to do the rest of them. So super easy. I'm gonna plant six artichokes in here. I know it's a little bit packed, but I'm not expecting them all to survive. Some of them look a little rough, and so I'll probably thin them out to four in this patch. And so hopefully we get a good crop of artichokes by the end of the season.